Shalom Rastafari. This is going to be called Resolving uh, Disputes Jah's Way, not our own way, not what we've learned from the world or whatever like that, or what we still carry in the flesh, you know, saying into Rastafari, and then find that there's trouble getting up into the irit. We're not really keeping that eye. We're not really reflecting his Matthew's testimony. So we're going to call this one right here because of some recent um, uh, challenges that we have um, towards uh, 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 building common unity, or as y'all may say, community. Because of these challenges and some of the various ministering to different brothers and sisters and the different ones who have either come together in LOJ or Line of Jew Society as far as this Rastafari ministry or ones who might have been doing it apart from I and I and now want to fellowship. And this is one of the reasons why we kind of try to focus on some of the teachings and many of the various different teachings and make this one topical right here. There's much more on I and I mind to share and it's because of the urgency. You understand? The urgency of the time, the urgency of the hour. It says in the in um, the Constitution, it says to save ourselves from, from annihilation. And, and this is where we're at, but we have to remember that the foundation of even the Constitution, speaking about the Ethiopian World Federation Constitution, the foundation is our divine heritage. And for all true and real and honest Rastafari, because some folks, you know, you can't help certain things. Remember, we have free will to make our wills obedient to good influences or to do what we will. And remember that the definition of um, iniquity or rebellion or lawlessness, Bamarinya Amita, is doing what is right in your own eyes. In other words, doing what's right in from your own perspective and, and disregarding the teaching of his master, disregarding the testimony of Jesus Christos. And brothers and sisters, I know that it's not you know, we learn certain things and we recognize, well, we're not really up to that just yet. Well, that's where the spiritual resources of prayer, that's where his, the teaching of his majesty, like he says about bad habits. The best, you know, uh, a habit once formed becomes like an incurable second nature. And then he teaches us that the best way to overcome the bad habit is to replace it by a good habit. That can be in word, you understand, in sound and power. You understand that can be in how our liberty or the things that we do. And don't forget about the spiritual resource of prayer to Abba, to our Father in the name of Jesus Christos. That's the basic foundation. That opens the stargate. That opens the gateway of communication with the Father. Not to Father, Mother, and, and this one and that one. and that. No, no, no. To our Father in the name and authority of Getachin, Jesus Christos, in the authority of Adunenu, Yeshua, Ha Moshiach. You understand? And that's the testimony of his mat. That's the basic foundation. That's the basic foundation right there. So, our divine heritage. Now, Ethiopia represents that. We know Ethiopia has uh, recently, in 2012, August, this month, uh, 2012, this on 17th and the 21st, has been some uh, very interesting occurrences. We call it the double hit, the double cross, so forth and so on. Um, one thing that continually kind of comes to my mind is that we as Rastafari, you know, we, we may babble on about Babylon, but we are not submitting I and ourselves to his will, and therefore um, we are not able to rule until we submit to his rule. You know, so not just in spirit or spirituality or, quote, Iryites, so to speak, but in, in the fullness of our tripartite being. When we say, when we say Shalase or Salase, we're referring to that man as a trinity, spirit, soul, and body. When we refer to Kedamawi Chayla Shalase or to Abba, our Father, we're referring to the first power of the trinity, the one whom, the one who was sent, testified to. And that's the testimony of Getachina Medhanatachin, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christos. All right, so let's address this right here, and, and Yah willing, we'll be able to address some of the other topical issues and themes. And this is all about how this is a continuing the, the subject matter of um, establishing our 
our unity in Jah's and Jah's business, the work of the King of Kings and his Christ. So we can save I and I selves. You understand? And when I say save I and I selves, first we have to recognize the Savior. And see, the salvation is in the teaching of his matches, in the testimony of our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christos. Now, recently, it has come to I and I attention, and of course, this has happened even from before that there are um, disputes and 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 and, and conflicts and 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 um, you know uh, mixed up moods and attitudes. Let's call it like that among brethren and sisters, all admitting and declaring love of Jah, of His Majesty, and even of His Christ, of Yeshua HaMoshiach. But then, um, what now prevents us? from coming to that common unity, you understand, in actuality. You understand? So it's not a theoretical, that brother and that sister and that one, so forth and so on. What is the process that has already been laid down for I and I to resolve, right, to resolve um, disputes, right? Well, let's go to the scripture. Yes, we're going to go to the Bible. And if you have a problem going to the Bible, then, you know, then the spirit of Rastafari is not really in you and you need to pray. You know what I'm saying? You need to, to ask and have mercy, you know what I'm saying, on you. Because if you say you're Rastafari and you're not about His Majesty's teaching and you're not about the Bible, then, then it's, it's a lie. You're under judgment, under some heavy, heavy judgment. You know what I'm saying? But that's just a word, you know, that's, that's a word to the wise. You know what I'm saying? The word to the wise. Because the wise will hear the word and act on it. The foolish will hear the word and not act on it. So let's go right here into this particular chapter right here. And this is chapter 18. Chapter 18. Chapter 18 of uh, Caduce Mateos. And this, this particular vid right here is related to um, resolving disputes um, among Rastafari, among brethren and sister. It's, it's one of the most important issues because offenses will come about. Things, you know, one, we, we're just, we can say we're, 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 we're human beings. You understand, and we still are growing, and we're learning. As His Imperial Majesty at Amawi Haile Selassie Haile Selassie the First says that our education, our awareness, our environment has ill prepared us, but He has well prepared us with the spiritual resources of faith, of study, of discipleship, of brotherhood, and namely of His Word. You understand, in spirit and in truth. So let's get into. Caduce my tables, right? Caduce my tables, because as many of you know, um, there are. This is a ministry, but a establishment of churches or establishment of fellowships or study groups or or local communities, branches of LOJ is going on. You know what I'm saying? And even um, prior to that, of Rastafari, some might call it Bingy Bobo, so forth. But each of those mansions have certain, you know, rules and regulations. You know what I'm saying? Whether they are right and exact in every point or not, well, that's a whole other issue. But overall, it is good they have rules and regulations. Some folks say, well, I'm not this or that, because some don't want to submit to any rule, right, or regulation, whether the rule is right or whether the rule is a little bit right and maybe have a small something. They, 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 they won't do what they wilt. And see, that is another, you know what I'm saying? That is, that's, another, that's another God. You know what I'm saying? Do what thou wilt shall be all of the law, the whole of the law, whatever, like that. What the King of Kings, Kedemawi Haile Salati, tell we as his children to make our wills obedient to good influences, right? And to avoid evil is to show the greatest wisdom or wisdom or tibet. You know what I'm saying? In order to um, follow this aim, one must be guided by Hymenot. Now, Unfortunately, it's been translated in English as religion, and people see religion there and they get all confused because they're not studying and showing themselves approved. So therefore, Father raises up ones like I and others to try to bring the information a little more digestible. You know what I'm Because it's, it's necessary in these times like these. So anyway, resolving disputes. Now, what is very interesting about this particular um, chapter right here, and, and you know what, this whole chapter is, is worthy of all acceptation, right? But what we want to do right here 
in fact, um, well, let's go through the whole chapter, right? Not, not just a sound bite, not just a verse or whatever, but let's deal with this whole chapter. So get your pen and your paper and your sacred scripture, you understand, and bring a willing and attentive mind of faith in the King of Kings and his Christ and be ready and willing to receive and let us, let us eat. You understand? Let us make our and I sup together. Mm-hmm. And this is still on the subject matter of Ethiopia, our divine heritage. Yes, the Shabbat is coming up, so forth and so on. And um, that's still a day away. But this, is, this instruction right here is, part of, it is our liberty. So, of course, many of us might know. And it's, it's already in our heart. You know what I'm saying? It's already been, the, the word is already written in our heart, but there's a wall, right? There's a wall of separation. You're saying that wall is, we can call it the, the world, you know what I'm saying, or our worldly life or what we've already, you know, experienced or accepted as true from the world. Many times we bring that right in, and most of us bring it right into Rastafari. And many times one's not even taught the fullness of the teaching of his majesty, the requirement to bring to um, fruition or to bring to fullness that, that inborn conception. You know, we, we keep talking about the inborn conception. You know what I'm saying? But the inborn conception has to be birthed out. That's the new birth. This is why even His Majesty sent to church the, the Beta Christian and, and, and Abuna Yisahak. You know what I'm saying? To, to bring those principles and the, and the purity of the teaching, the language and, and the roots of it, so that we might study and find the truth for I and I self. You know, and that's why our foundation is Tawahido, is the Ritua Hymeno. So let's deal with this chapter right here, chapter 18 of Matthew. Mm -hmm. So chapter 18 of Matthew, Matthew chapter 18, is the sermon or the subcut of the child text. The sermon of the lidge, right? So, so let's put this right here, one, right? The sermon of the Lidge, right? L I J. Some spell it L I D J. That's the older because the 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 the, the J actually is a modification of the D sound. So we have like John Hoy and we have Don Hoy and we have Adonai coming from that same root, right? All right. So Lidge means what? Lidge means right? Lidge means a child. Now, we're not going to get into all the specifics of Lidge, you know but Lidge means a child. Within our um, monarchical system, the true system of God, you know what I'm saying, which is monarchy, you know what I'm saying? Within our monarchical system, this is, this, this is the, the first step, right? That's the first step, being a child or being a Lidge, you know what I'm saying? It is a title as well. See, before we can get to the Ras level, you know, we have to get to the Lidge level. But many of us have already gotten to the, right, to the Ras level. Now, one should not suffer as like a murderer or nothing like, you know, but one should sorry and sorrow towards repentance. And as we learn things and recognize, wow, we've been saying that, you know, in what we thought was, you know, the best that we knew. But as we began to study and grow, you know what I'm saying? Now we see this is what it's about. This is why you have to recognize yourself and your neighbor. But first you have to recognize yourself. What we do a lot, and I will admit, I've done this, and may get to hold you could have been, you know, forgive I, exil to Sahala Nemed Hanate Christos, forgive I for this. You always know and I like to forgive those I wrong, in spirit I do, but I'm not, I'm, I haven't been able to forgive everyone but in person, but still in spirit. So therefore, with the, the, the father of spirits, you understand, it is received and it's acceptable that, you know, often, you know, we, then we learn, then we learn better, you understand, so we have to do better, you understand, and yes, in the flesh, in the carnal, it's difficult, but like Rastafari say, Rastafari, and I want no carnal mind, that is gospel, that is Wengill. You know what I'm saying? That is Wengil. Now we have to learn what his Wengil, you know what I'm saying, or good news is. So what is the teaching of his majesty? As we learn it, we have to pray for the strength, for the wisdom, you know what I'm saying? 
and also to make our wills obedient to good influences. Yeshua HaMashiach says that if anyone hears this doctrine and does it, they will know of it. And what we've heard and what we have put into effect, we know. Right? We, it's not a guess. We know. We're not just saying, yes, I, and I, not, not believe, but uh, you have to know it. And I'm just saying to know it. But then when you ask him to articulate it, he, he feels embarrassed because he's just popping style. This is not about pop style, right? It's not about wicked or wild, right? This is about becoming as a child again. You know what I'm Becoming as a child again. So we have to know, well, what is sonship? And this is child in the sense of son or daughter. So we might say, yes, I and I is a son or a daughter of his majesty. Are you really? And when we say that, are we really? Now, for some folks, it offends them. If someone says that because that means there's something offensive in there that has to be rooted out, has to be dealt with. So you have to recognize yourself and you have to recognize your neighbor. But you cannot help your neighbor before you, first of all, be helped yourself. You know, and, and we know the parable and, 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 the, and the word of Jesus, which speaks about, like, taking the, the beam, you know, taking the, 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 the moat out of someone else's eye, and you got a big beam in your eye. So when we take that beam out of our eye, we can see clearly to really help our brother or sister or other. All right? So here in chapter 18, right, this is, this is going to be on resolving disputes among brethren and sisterin. Mm -hmm. This is how Satan gets in the mix. And brothers and sisters come together with, 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 with good vibes and irites and so forth. So forth, all the hopes and expectation of righteousness and then little stuff happens. And one's on how to handle little stuff. And then one's on how to reverting to their old nature because they have not become a child again. You know what I'm saying? Because they have not put their investment in his word. You know what I'm saying? Like we use the example that we have to study the Bible regularly and, and, and digest it and put it in our spirit so that his Holy Spirit, you know what I'm saying, can guide us and, and, and clarify his word to us. But it's like a bank account. If you put no money in, then how can you expect to get any money out? You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's, and you have to remember that these, these laws really were spiritual before they became carnal or fleshical, all right? So right here in the Sermon on the Child Text, right? The Sermon on the Child Text in Matthew chapter 18, it says, At the same time came the disciples. Not at the same time just came anybody, you know what I'm but the disciples. That means these are those who, who have made a conscious decision for that discipline, you know what I'm saying, of Yeshua. You know what I'm saying? Of Yeshua, because it's not I and I teaching, it's Yeshua's teaching. You know what I'm saying? It's a teaching of his magic, not I and I. It's I and I testimony of Yeshua's testimony. It's I and I teaching of his majesty's teaching. You know what I'm saying? Not, not I and I, but it is his majesty, right? So it says, at the same time came the disciples to Yeshua or Jesus, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Now, what is the kingdom of heaven? The kingdom of heaven is when you accept Yeshua. In other words, it's, it's, it's the sense of what we've heard before, but not fully clarified in so-called Christianity in the world, is that when you become a, a newborn, born again, when you enter into Yeshua, when you enter into Christ, you are entering into the kingdom of heaven. You understand? So as a, quote, Christian, a true Christian, is truly has entered into the kingdom of heaven. That's so why we can be in the world, but not of the world. You know what I'm saying? That's why we, we have the spiritual resources of prayer. You know what I'm saying? We've been chanting a song. You know what I'm saying? Not to harm. You know what I'm saying? But chanting a song. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, 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 and a psalm is for praise, not, not, not to do no little other kind of craft or craftiness. Watch it, because a lot of folks resort to that, and if you do it to the wrong person, you're going to hurt yourself very seriously, you're right, because the angels that protect the righteous, you understand, they don't sleep or they don't slumber, you understand, because they do the work of our father and our big brother, you understand, our black Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, this is for real, some people talk about supernatural, spiritual, but they this novices, you understand, those who have seen these things, those who have recognized that they're real, 
Yeah. You, you know, it's like a blind man is telling a blind man what you see as a sighted person. You know what I'm saying? They say, no, I don't see that. Well, would you get upset at the blind man, really? Because you recognize, okay, he's blind. But to those of us who he has restored eye and eye sight, right, Yeshua was asked by the disciples, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? It's like people say, well, who is the greatest Rastafari? Or we have a group, a church, or, or, or a local, or a gathering of ones, and one is saying, well, who do you think is the greatest brethren here? You know what I mean? It's those kind of idiotic things, but very human things. Humanness, right? Or human mess, rather. Verse 2 says, And yes, was Yeshua called a little child to him and set him in the midst of them. Now notice what happened right here. Yeshua, he calls a little child to him, right? And he sets this little child, right, in the midst of them. This is a likeness, my brothers and sisters. This is a likeness of his majesty, the likeness of Lij Tesari. Let me show you right here. He called a little child, right? Let's get some light, right? He called a little child, right? He called a little child. And he set this little child in the midst of them, right? Now, I want you to keep this in mind right here. If we could read that and, and show you this while we read that. Let's see if we can do this, if we can balance this. All right, here we go right here. So he called a little child and, 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 uh, to him and set him in the midst as an example, as a demonstration, as a, a mare. Verse 3, and said, verily, or amen, amen. I say to you, to y'all, to you all, to all the I them, except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Now, this is interesting that Yeshua HaMoshiach says this, right? He called a little child to him and set him in the midst of them as an example to them, right? He called this little child, right? which is an example of himself. You see what I'm saying? For our sakes. Verse 4, Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as what this little child, as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever. So it's not about, oh, Lord, humble me. No, it's about you humbling yourself. That's in your power. You know what I'm saying? That's in your willpower. Right? Make your will obedient to good influence in verse 5. And whoso shall receive one such little child in my name receiveth me. One who receiveth such a little child in Yeshua's name, in Yeshua's name. And we know that his majesty has testified to us, not of himself, but of Yeshua HaMoshiach, of our black Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Right? So whoso shall receive one such little child in my name receiveth me. Verse 6, but whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe, which my men, which trust, which have confidence, which accepts the teaching of his majesty and his Christ, as it says, in me, it were better for him that a milestone were, haunt, were hanged about his neck and that he was drowned in the depths of the sea. This is dread. This is serious. This is serious, my brothers and sisters. This example that Yeshua HaMoshiach, that he gives us right here. Yet, like he says, he says, he says, Come unto me, all ye that labor, right, and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Does he not say that? Come to me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And what does his imperial majesty say to me? It says, who can resist a what? An invitation. That's the first step. That's that invitation right there. You, you see, some of us, our locks, some of us, our locks got long. You understand? Some of us got maybe some gray. Some of us got older. We went to all the the, the dances, we went to all the bingies, we did this, we did that, and all of that in itself, in grace, you know, is, is, is fine, so to speak, right? However, we, we must have missed this somewhere along the line, because this is a teaching of His Majesty, right? Because if His Majesty, not if, but as His Majesty is Abatachin, is Abuna, 
He's our father. That's what Abuna means. He's our father. He's our Abba. You're right, our Abba. But we can only call him Abba, right, if we're in that sonship and that daughtership, if we have become as what? Little children. As example of that child that he set in their midst. He goes on to say right here, and we're in the chapter 11 at verse 28, and 29 says, take my yoke. You see that yoke is? That word yoke is interesting, because that word yoke is similar to the so-called Eastern word or Eastern teaching called yoga. Yoga. That yoke is a discipline, right? Almost like a, a, a kenber, like you put on on cattle, you know what I mean? Or you put on animals, or, or you could say a collar. This is where the church, you know, you see some priest got that, you know, that symbolic yoke. But he's not talking about an actual collar or something like that. Remember, this is spiritual. You know, he's given us um, worldly or earthly examples, natural examples. Take my yoke upon you. He says, take his discipline upon I and I and I and learn. Notice that, and learn. So take his discipline and do what? What's the first thing? Education is the key. Learn. You know what I'm saying? Learn. So that means you, you better be spending time in your Bible. You know what I'm saying? Really, you, you better be spending some time in your Bible. You know what I'm saying? Because you have to get familiar with his word. He's not going to, some people say, oh, uh, you know, Jah talked to me and so forth and so on. Yeah, well, Jah will talk to you, but if it's true, it must be true and according to his word. It can't be contradicting the teaching of his magic and then that be Jah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that'd be a lot. You know what I'm saying? You need to repent of that. Take my yoke upon you, my yoke, my discipline upon you, and learn of I. Yeshua says, learn of him. For I am meek and lowly in heart, right? And ye shall find rest for your soul. See, this is the reason why a lot of folks, you know what I'm saying? They say the hot to the back of the sweet to the victory when it's done in the Christ of His Majesty. You know what I'm saying? But the hot to the back of the sweet to not the victory if you do it uh, apart from the teaching of His Majesty. That's why a lot of folks, you know, though they uh, quote Rasta, the vibes are wrong. Something's wrong with the spirit. Something's wrong with the soul. You know what I'm saying? Because they must have skipped the verse or, or never read it to begin with. Verse 30 says, For my yoke, his yoke, his kinber, Right? It's easy. That means it's not difficult. This is not difficult stuff. This is not, you know, this is basic. And my burden, right, my burden is light. It's not heavy. Some of are all oh, reading the Bible, studying the Torah portion. Oh, one don't have time. But that shows something wrong in your spirit. That means you don't have that part. You have something in there that's not of him. Because if, you, if, you, if it wasn't there, it wouldn't, you know, for many of I and I, this is not easy. But, I mean, I mean this is not, well, Initially, sometimes it's not easy, but you have to recognize who 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 is my father. Who I say I'm a Rastafari. So Rastafari says this. So so you so you get over yourself. As you get over yourself, then it becomes easier and easier, right? And it doesn't seem like a burden anymore. It's a joy. You know what I'm saying? It's a real joy. See, if we pay attention, this is how we can distinguish ourselves or recognize ourselves. But, and then recognize our neighbor. But what we do a lot of times, you know, is when we look, we see our neighbor, oh, look what he did, or look what she did, so forth and so on. But we're not checking ourselves. When we check ourselves, we check ourselves by ourselves. You know what I'm saying? And we're not checking ourselves by him and by his word and by other faithful brothers and sisters that could do something. We're not checking our and ourselves by them. And the definition of lawlessness or Torahlessness. Right, is doing what is right in your own eyes. The definition of evil, right, is whatever Jah says is evil is evil, period. Right, a period. Uh, what you want to philosophize about it? Period. You know what I'm saying? Now, let's continue in chapter 18, right? So this is going to be on the child first, right? Be, be, become as a child. Every Rastafari must be a lich first, right? Every... Each and every one of us has a true and faithful Rastafari. We are still Rastafari even when we are lich. You understand? We are a lich of Rastafari. You understand? Okay. So let's go forward to verse 7. It says, Whoa, warrior to the world, to the world, right, to the world, 
right, because of offenses. Woe to the world because of offenses. In other words, when we're seeking to go forward, Babylon comes along with some trick. You understand? Either, you know, whatever it may be. You understand? But woe to the world because of these offenses, right? For it must needs be that offenses come. So it's saying that, you know, we shouldn't be surprised at these things. It's like, oh, look, look, look what they're doing now. Okay, yeah. You know, but, but that should cause us to trust the Most High even more and more, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and to build that common unity, you know what I'm saying, because then there's power in our words, our, our songs of praise, our chant, you know what I'm saying, there's power in our, in our ministry when we do it according to His majesty, right? Um, it must needs be that offenses come, but woe to that man by whom offense cometh. Now, woe to be that one. Now, notice, what, notice the context of this. Christ is speaking to the disciples. He's speaking about the kingdom of heaven, right? And he said that in the world, offenses will come. You understand? And it's, it's necessary that offenses do come. It's almost like where um, Hawadi Apollo speaks about the church, and he heard about that there's divisions, and there's, 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 there's factions, and there's, there's, there's mixed-up moods and attitudes. And he said, well, that's needful. So one can distinguish who is approved. And that key word approved, you see it in Timothy, where it says, study and show thyself approved to God. You know what I'm saying? It's not you, one is studying and show so, so approved to a bread drain or a cyst drain. No, no. First and foremost, to Jah. You're saying, because when you show approved to Jah, then you'll be able to see your eyes are open, who are truly your spiritual brothers and sisters who are reflecting that same thing. You know what I'm saying? It's not about our righteousness. It's about, not about our self-righteousness. It's about his righteousness. You know what I'm saying? Because he is, I and I, righteousness. All right? Now, it says, but woe to that man by whom the offense cometh. Now, the word offense is interesting. I'm not going into all of the Amharic right here in this, in, this, in this lesson right here, or this sermon, this reasoning right here. But if you look at Bamarinya Mesonaka, Mesonaka is the word for offense, right? Or the root, one of the root words for um, offense, right? And it really means stumbling. And it was a cause to stumble, a cause to lose your what? Footing. Mm -hmm. Now, our footing is our tribe, right? The, the, foot, the foot is symbolic. That's why Christ did what? He washed our feet. And if you want to know a little more about the mystical connection to the feet, look at the previous Torah portion where we touch on feet and the heel. In fact, it is, um, it is, it is, it is this Torah portion where we actually touched on it from earlier um, in the Shabbat, right? Uh, I think it was maybe Ehud first day or it was um, the Shabbat day that we uploaded that particular clip, August 2012. So look for it on the foot, on the feet, and see some of the metaphysical connection as it, so, so you'll recognize what stumbling block or, or what an offense is. But instead of making this stumbling stone uh, a stumbling stone, make it, make it a stepping stone. You know what I'm saying? Make it a, this is why Christ Yeshua is giving this advice because they're concerned about, well, who is, you know, well, who is greatest? Who is the greatest? You know, na 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 Wait, 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 excuse me. Where, where did that come? I see if it's a look at children. Look at, like it says, be children, right, in, in wrath. It says for us to be children in wrath, but not children in knowledge. You understand? Know we're not to be children in knowledge, but be mature. You understand? Know be, be like an adult. Grow up to him in all things. You know what I'm saying? Because the king of kings has, has, has done it. He's overcome. You know what I'm saying? The Lord of lords, Yeshua HaMoshiach, has overcome. Now, Jah is waiting there for I and I to overcome all this mess and nonsense. You know what I'm saying? He's already waiting there. Jah will be waiting there. Egeziyavi hirvazia. Yahweh shamma. Right? Verse 8 says, Wherefore, if thy hand or thy foot, look at that, or thy what foot, offend thee, cut it off, or cut them off, and cast them from thee. Mm. Let me say this because sometimes there's unstable people. Sometimes there's people who are mentally disturbed who might read this right here and literally think it's like the, 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 the so-called Rasta in, in the High Times article 
who it was the same article which talked about the conspiracy against Bob Marley, CIA, and Nazi doctors and everything. And it's in the same article there was this disturbed Rasta, one who claimed to be Rasta, who was around the Naya Bingi and, you know, moving erratically and doing funny, strange things. And all of a sudden, while everyone's giving chants and thanks and praise, this disturbed individual who on the outside you might say is a Rasta, right, sat down in the fire, in the Bingi fire, and burned up the embolism, self-embolism. All right? That's something to think about. You know what I'm saying? There are some disturbed people that are not even... Uh, demonically possessed in that sense, but they are walk-ins. You know what I'm saying? Now, this might seem, ooh, but no, Yeshua says that in his name we will cast out demons. That's if we have that faith, if we have grown up. You know what I'm saying? Or some people might have a chemical imbalance, or some people may have suffered trauma. But in order, this is a spirit of discernment to see, well, who's who and what's what. But every one of us, first and foremostly, have to deal with you know, we're going to do a, a series called One, Two, Three. You understand? First is the individual, then one's buddy up, then the, the, the Christ sent them out two by two, and then you have a unit. You understand? Then you have a trinity. You understand? And from that trinity, that's how one's formed, whether it's a local or one's formed, whether it's a church. And in this very same chapter, he says, for where two or three, right, are gathered, are gathered together in my name. He said my father's name. Right, which is Kedemawi Haila Shalat. He says, in my name, right, in my name, in Yeshua's name, in Yeshua's name, he says, there am I in the midst of them. Now, one minute people say, well, yeah, I not gathered together. Yeah, but the gathered together, I don't hear the full verse. Some words are missing. Some words are lost in the translation of your heart and your mind. It says, where, for where two or three are gathered together in what? In who? In my name, right? In my name, there am I in the what? In the midst of them. But we'll, we'll get into that. Let's go forward right here. So we mentioned that because he's not speaking literally cut off your hand or your foot. Some folks think so because they're not. See, they're looking at like natural people, you know, and they have not received of his spirit. You know, and his majesty speaks about spiritual power, you know, and in this world and in the world to come. It is better for thee to enter into life halt or maimed, right, rather than having two hands and two feet to be cast into ever-living or eternal fire. In other words, which is easier, right? If you're, if you're a thief, right, I mean, I'm not saying that, you know, you go around robbing some people, right, and you recognize, you know, that's not what Yeshua want me to do, yes, this is a life, my old life, but now I'm going to be born again. Which is easier, to cut off your hand? You understand? Know or to stop robbing. You understand? Know if you say, I keep going in this direction, going where, which is easier to cut off your foot, you understand, know, or stop going there? Think about that for a moment. This is what he's saying right here. Then to have two hands and two feet to be cast into everlasting or eternal, the, 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 the Gehanim at Issat, right? Verse 9, it says, And if thine eye offend thee, pluck it out and cast it from thee. You understand? Because from the eye, it speaks about from the eye, the worldly desires, the worldly things. You know, we're Rastafari, but still we're trying to please standards in the world. Which is easier? To stop doing that for John's sake, for Joshua's sake, or to pluck out your eye? You understand? Which is easier? You understand? Verse 10, it says, Take heed that ye despise not one of these little ones. Those are the youngins, those are the young Rastafari, the, the, the newbies, the newborn Rastafari, the ones just come. Make sure you do not what? Offend. In other words, what is offend? Cause to stumble. Make sure you don't put a stumbling block there. You understand? And, or you be the stumbling block. You understand? Because they look up to you and say, well, yeah, you've been Rastafari, I see your locks long and everything else. But you know you're saying stuff that goes against his majesty, but out of tried and tradition, you keep saying it, and now you put the stumbling block. John says he's going to hold you accountable for that. So take heed. You know understand? Shema here, right? That ye despise not one of these little ones. For I say to you that in heaven, via angels. Right, their angels do always behold the face of Abate, Abate, my father of Yenne Abat, right, which is in heaven, right, which is in heaven. Now, there's another section here 
and this is the lost sheep. And that says it has a colon there, and it says the lost sheep seeking the Lord. Please stay tuned. Shalom Rastafari.